Almost at the end. Almost at the end. Hello everyone, Mega Man NG here, and it's time now for another Samurai Jack episode review. This is the penultimate episode, episode C, or 100, or if you want to put it this way, season 5, episode 9. So here's the deal, I'll be providing a little summary of the episode as well as some of the main points that were seen. And for a 22 minute episode, good god, this is just nuts. It really is. Continuing almost immediately after the previous episode, Jack and Ashi rest up and spend more time together. The next day, Jack heads off to an all-familiar place, unaware that Scaramouche has warned Aku about Jack, no longer having his sword. From there, Jack and Aku meet and a battle would ensue, but a shocking truth about Ashi will take things to a whole new level. Yeah, this episode was emotional it was intense, it was awesome, but at the same time, it just kept you on the edge of your seat. Continuing almost immediately after the two kiss, and when it was done, it was like they didn't had a big deal. And I mean, I was surprised, because I thought that they would get all down and dirty, but they didn't. But at least seeing the two together really brings a smile on my face. Especially since Jack harkens a flashback about his youthful life before Aku came in and ruined everything. Oh, and by the way, Scaramouche is back, and after a long journey, finally meets Aku regarding the samurai. What happens then is a little bit unexpected and a bit embarrassing, especially when Aku, voiced by Greg Baldwin, who does a pretty good job too, I feel that Greg Baldwin voices a version of Aku who, after half a century, feels bored and old. I don't know why, but it just is. And seeing him do that shake is just... Okay, it was kind of creepy. It really was. Although Scaramouche finally gets what's coming to him when he finally realizes the truth. Zapped in the head. That's what he gets. The last time we'll ever see him. And surprisingly, he is voiced by Tom Kenny. The same guy who voiced Spongebob. Isn't that a weird thought? Most of the episode focused on Jack heading to a place that was all familiar. And for those who have watched the series, yeah, this is also the place involving the Guardian. And I thought that the Guardian would show up in this episode. But when we saw his red tinted glasses and the portal destroyed, I think that something had happened. Something very bad. I don't know what's going to transpire, especially with next week, but Jack and Aku finally meet. And they battle until we learn of a truth regarding Ashi. And we learn about that in a flashback. In a flashback regarding the daughters of Aku. When Aku showed up and imbued the, like, the, uh, how do I put this? Like a little bit of a sacred chalice, a bit of his essence. And that woman drank it and in turn gave birth to seven. Seven daughters. Yep, Ashi is one of the real daughters of Aku. And I mean that literally. And what followed was a transformation and an epic confrontation. It was an emotional confrontation because let's face it, Jack is forced to fight against something he can't possibly win. And even though Ashi tells Jack to kill her, he can't. And I think I know why. Because Jack loves her. He loves her and he would do anything for her. And seeing Ashi in this state is just horrifying. It's just messed up. But it adds the tension. It builds the tension. I keep saying to myself, why, Gendy? Why are you torturing us? And all the while, Aku is watching the whole fight, enjoying it, being entertained. And it's just all too real. But regardless, it's just a shocking way to end it. I mean, Jack doesn't even bother finishing the job. He's powerless. And if this is all leading up to the finale, which is next week... It's going to be crazy. So yes, this episode gets another 10. And by this point, what's the point of giving reviews 10s when these episodes just keep getting better and better and better and better? Although it did surprise me how intense it was. It really does. So yes, bottom line, this episode gets a solid 10 from me. If you have not seen it, please make sure you do so. And please also, if you haven't seen it, well, don't watch the review first. I mean, how do I put this? First watch the episode then come back for the review. Next week is something that we've waited. We've waited 16 years, or rather we waited 12 years 
for this series to reach its conclusion. Next week will be my series finale review of Samurai Jack, but it will not be an ordinary review. Quite the contrary. You guys know that whenever there's like a season finale or something like this, I go full throttle, really hammering it home, really dissecting the entire season from start to finish. And believe me, this is going to be one review you don't want to miss. You know me way too well when I did the season 2 Flash episode review, The Race of His Life. As well as the season 4 finale to TMNT, Owari. This will be the same way with episode CI or episode 101. And this is going to be a fitting end to an amazing season. To one that we've waited a long time for. And it will be worth it. Just don't miss out, okay? So that is about it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. I don't get much support nowadays, but with how things are right now, I need all the support I can get. If you've seen the episode, let me know what you think in the comments. If you are subscribed, please be sure to click on the bell so that way you'll know when I'll upload next. And if you are not, click that subscribe button, then click the bell, and there you go. And if you want to be mega awesome, please be sure to check out my Patreon too. I won't bite. But I do promise you this, if you contribute, you will get much love from me. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. See you next week for after 12 years, or in this case 16, Samurai Jack will finally come to an end.